Hey world! So this week was the LGBTQIA Weedathon and I participated obviously and I'm just gonna do a little web up on the three books I read. Uh, for those of you who don't know um, there's been a bit of a mess up with my books. I ordered them really early and somehow they didn't arrive until the middle of the week which is kind of annoying. So the first thing I did was to just reread my favorite queer book um, which is openly straight and yeah as I said I already read it so I'm just gonna leave the first web up of this um, which was in one of my monthly web ups in the description down below but just really shortly I love this book um, so much so that I wrote a term paper on it because it has a lot of really interesting thoughts on labels in general not just queer labels but also like mental illnesses and ways and social classes and I think schools should read it and discuss it because it has as I said a lot of really interesting thoughts that I think kids should learn about. But then on to the two actual books I read for this readathon. They were these two. Um, first of all I'm a bit annoyed that both of them have pink spines because for those of you who don't know I don't really like the color pink it's my least favorite color and now I have these two I think you could argue this is kind of weird but yeah but apart from that I like these books um, I have more to say on this one so I'm gonna start with this um, obviously this is Kissing Kate by Lauren Miracle and it's basically following this girl Lisa um, who kind of realizes that she has feelings for her best friend Kate and we follow her through this realization and through how she deals with it and how other people deal with it when they learn about it um, and I will say that I was a bit disappointed by how negative this lesbian love story was presented. I just imagined that if I were a girl still in the closet or still trying to figure herself out and I picked this up it would be kind of depressing and not really helpful. Um, I did love the reaction of this one girl Ariel who is also my favorite character in the book but apart from that it was a really nice story. It was quite lovely at times and I like the characters so I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I think I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads but it was still a nice read. Seven Ways We Lie by Wiley Wedgate, Wedgate, I don't know. Um, I basically picked this up because I think it was Emma Books, I don't know. Some YouTuber said that this has a pansexual character and obviously I'm not gonna do a queer readathon without representing myself, even though I know in LGBTQIA there is no P, but come on. So basically this is the story of kind of seven people there are more people involved but we get different stories of different secrets and they are also told from different perspectives which which was quite interesting to have each chapter from a different perspective and then these secrets and these stories kind of intertwining because they all go to the same school and some of them are friends so it was a really interesting story and it had so many important aspects to it. Not only the queer storyline, which was, to be fair, a bit disappointing in its representation because it wasn't the most present one, um, but there are so many important stories in it, so many important um, things. People keep as secrets and pe people feel they have to keep as secrets, which was also a really interesting aspect to it. Like why do the people feel like they have to keep it a secret? Um, so yeah, I really really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, let's get more into the pansexual story. First of all, it was really difficult to find a book with a pansexual character that was advertised as a book with a pansexual character, which I think already describes one of the things I liked about this but also kind of didn't which are the reactions and kind of the pan erasure because most of the characters who found out or who were told about this character's sexuality were like oh okay so you're gay or you're bisexual and when this character described what pansexuality meant they didn't quite understand it and they didn't understand the difference between pansexuality and bisexuality or between those two and being gay even in this generation where queer is talked about and where queer lifestyle is totally accepted and open 
in most countries and most societies. I know there's still a lot wrong in this world. Um, but even in those societies, pansexuality and also other sexualities and gender identifications are still not really public. Just because we have those things we focus on also, in this readathon, we have the LGBTQIA readathon, and George Lester in his video where he announced it already said he wanted it to be more including than just LGBT, which I found really lovely and it's nice that he did that, but still there are so many things missing, which is why I prefer the term queer. Um, so yeah, that just became really apparent in this, and as I said, I kind of liked it because it is too but then again, of course, you want it to be better and therefore it was kind of when I read those reactions like ah, no, it was really cringy and still, as I said, honest. So there is this one scene where the character talks to their ex and describes to them that they're pansexual um, and yeah, there are two really important things in this scene. The first one is that they say you were the only one I wanted in that time and you were the only one I was interested in and only because I am attracted to every gender that doesn't mean that I was attracted to anyone else while I was with you. And then the other thing in that scene is that um, yeah he says like yeah I'm pansexual so I'm attracted to every gender and the ex is just like what do you mean every gender? There's like two genders. The ex says so have you ever met anyone? identifies with another gender and the pansexual character is like well how do you know you haven't and it just oh, yes exactly that's also why pansexuality is like so important to acknowledge because it also once you acknowledge that you can be attracted to more than these two genders you also have to acknowledge that there are more than two genders so I really really love that um, and yeah, it was just a really important scene to me personally. As I said, the pansexual character is one of my favorite characters in this. However, I'm gonna say that again, kind of like with Kissing Kate, it's a bit negative, like um, they're still in the closet and they're not really comfortable with talking about it. If you've participated, then please let me know what you read and what you thought about it in the comments down below. I'm also trying to build like a rainbow colored book pile um, and I'm still missing some for dark green, purple and orange. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have any with those colored spines, leave me, uh, le le please let me know. On Wednesday will be my June wrap up. So I hope you always have a reason to smile and I shall see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>